people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to get the Nightmare 3 star ending in FNAF Into the Pit. If you saw my previous Into the Pit video, you'll know that we got basically every single ending except for this very specific and very tricky one. There's really five endings in the game, only three of which give you a star on the title screen. So in the last video, we were able to get the leaving Freddy Fazbear's Pizza ending, the see a dad ending, where there you literally just walk out the front door of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The one star ending you get after surviving all five nights and completing the quick time event when spring bonnie attacks you on night five if you fail that you get another ending called who am i and then the two star ending you get after collecting all of dad's memories and then completing night five but to unlock the three star ending you have to do a lot of very specific requirements so at the start of this video i'm gonna run through a very quick guide on how to get the three star ending and then i'm gonna show you my winning run on the three star nightmare mode special shout out to dj stir by the way for literally giving me the answers because I was struggling super hard with three stars but to get the three star ending first you have to collect all five of dad's memories there's the wallet in the parts and service room the wedding ring is in the security office there is a name tag and photo inside the room that has the golden Freddy suit and then there's a beach photo inside of the kitchen so you do have to collect all five of those memories after that you unlock a strange photo which is in the party room during night five that is also required for the three star ending there are also three secret mini games you have to play and beat to unlock the three star ending the first of which is the count the ways mini game you get this by spamming the candy dispenser in the main party area 100 times it takes a couple minutes it is extremely extremely tedious but it is required for the ending there is an eleanor to be beautiful secret mini game you have to call mom on night five to unlock that one and then i think the most demanding secret mini game is the fetch mini game in which you have to unlock five or four different uh, prize vouchers. So basically you just gotta keep on playing the mini games, rack up a bunch of tickets, buy a bunch of prize vouchers. You'll have to get five, so about a hundred tickets should do. The first one's gonna give you the retro gaming uh, console. After that, you'll unlock three different stickers for uh, Gabrielle's uncle's notebook. And then finally use the fifth prize voucher when you're in the past, 1985. And that'll unlock the third and final secret mini game. And then I think most demanding of all, you have to fix as well as play all eight of the arcade machines in Jeff's Pizza. I'm gonna put all of the locations for the parts on the screen because there are eight arcade machines you have to fix but you also have to fix the ticket eater as well as the prize machine. Once you fix them Jeff's gonna give you a coupon that also goes in your notebook and then to actually play and beat the mini games you really don't have to beat them you just have to play them so you can just die off rip I'm pretty sure but I usually like to get a couple points in the mini games themselves number one so it actually counts you know make sure it counts that you're playing the games and then number two you need a bunch of tickets anyways the helping mini game is the easiest to form tickets with but that takes a lot of energy because you just got to spam e a bunch so getting other tickets from playing a whole bunch of the other mini games also helps out a lot so once you've done all that you've got the five dad memories you've got the strange photo you fix the eight arcade machines you've played the eight ones as well you fix the ticket machine the prize counter as well as doing all the secret mini games you go through the ending normally make sure you hit that quick time event and there you should get the three star ending but if you want to follow an actual playthrough of someone getting the three star ending here is my playthrough of not only the three star ending but also nightmare mode like i said the hardest mode in the game so this is nightmare mode everyone is on the hardest difficulty permadeath is on all the hiding spots or most of the hiding spots are disabled most of the noise makers are able to break after like one use it is truly a nightmare scenario so we're going to speed run through this hopefully while also getting the three star ending and i'm going to show you guys exactly the steps you need to do to get that three star ending in this playthrough so the first bit the prologue you practically just play as normal interact with uh with mike and chip a lot go through their games encounter him a lot as well for the three star ending you have to get the three secret mini games of fetch count the ways as well as uh to be beautiful and this one right here you have to interact 100 times with this candy candy dispenser to get one of the mini games so that is usually the first step in a three star ending playthrough is just do this in the past at the very start of the game during the prologue so no one's interrupting you while you're spamming a hundred times it takes a long time it takes like two minutes but it is required there we go so once you spam that a hundred times you get sent to the count the ways mini game and you just got to beat this it's really easy it's a lot like the foxy go 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 mini game from fnaf 2 so you walk into the other room we're playing as millie right now from the story we're collecting all the different ways that she could have died in the story and then finally we've got bonbon attached to Funtime Freddy's hand, 
Millie starts crying. And then I think the game glitches out. Yeah, there it goes. So that is secret minigame one out of three done that you need for the three-star ending. So now we can just continue on as normal in the prologue. So we just got to play their games. This one, you don't have to move too far. Just wait until Oswald starts running fast like that and then go back and then get caught. That saves you a bit of time. This isn't a speed run, but I just, I'm trying to get through the game as fast as I can. Apparently you can get like a fourth paper plate here. I have no idea what that means. I, that's just one of the secrets in this game that I'm like, it's there. I don't know what it means, but if you interact with the paper plate, you get it, you get a fourth one. I have no idea. So that's the prologue done. So now we're at kind of the first night area. Normally you can make a noise with this, with this sewing machine, but it's broken. This hiding spot is not usable because the closet's open. As you can see, and the blender's broken as well. Nightmare mode is tough. So let us quickly get this rope and this weight. Because all the noisemakers can break, I want to try to use as little as I can so I can save them for when I actually do need them. So I think making noises by like tripping and falling over is probably my easiest bet. Let's just use the front door this time. Let's just do it. Let's just get out of here. Let's go, baby! So here, there's a few different places you can go to to just get some parts for the arcade machines early. One of those is going to be at the mill. It's this part right here. You can also pick up the rat trap for uh, a future night. And there's also a lot more parts just scattered across the pizzeria that we can get. Yeah, so in the actual pizzeria, there's a speaker here for the arcade machine. In this room, there should be the gun, the electron gun down here, one in the trash can, and then also one at this table right here. That is everything turned on right now. And that's like, what, five, six already done? So you need to repair the 10 arcade machines, the ticket eater, and the prize counter, or the prize dispenser. But those are all the parts we can get uh, at this current moment. So here, once we go into the pit, we can pick up some wooden balls for the ski uh, the ski ball game. We need to pick up Dad's wallet right here. So now that we have the key from Jeff, we can go back here. We can get the screwdriver to not only save the kid, and also open the window in our house in a, in a future night. You can also, right over here is another part for the arcade machines, the token slot. All right, here's Spring Bonnie, so let's run. We should, hopefully, have enough time to get to the ball pit. He shouldn't be that fast. Definitely was not that fast, okay. Perfect. Boom, night one, nightmare mode, done. Now we move on to day two. Let's get breakfast. Yeah, so now that it's daytime, we're able to just walk around. We won't have to worry about this guy killing us, but we definitely will worry about eating breakfast with him. So let's just go grab our lunch for school. Uh, we can get it on a later night, but since we're saving up already on the arcade parts, we might as well just get it right here. This is yet another one. This is the voucher validator. This one we need to fix up all the arcades for, and we also need that for one of the secret minigames. So it's just good to get that early. Then we go home. We encounter dad. Not a big fan of dad. And then we should move on to night two. Night two, here we go. Now that we have the screwdriver, we can just escape out the window. I'm just gonna do that. So we've picked up a few other parts. Oh, not that. A few other parts for the machines. So let's get those activated and all, all in good working condition. We got the prize voucher. And honestly, at this point, it might be worth running a few minigames, stocking up on some tickets, so we can also get the, the retro console to trade for the firecracker. Oh boy. All right, chat. Look at this glorious mug while I do this. Okay, we can't get the ticket muncher just yet, but it's good that we have them stockpiled. That is enough for a voucher. Okay, let's do this. No, Chica! Oh, Chica! Run! So since we got the, the mouse trap earlier at the mill, we don't actually have to go all the way back there. We can just go right back and get the rat. Try just running. Oh, that's not good. Go, 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 go. I think we might get a mini game here. I pray we do and he doesn't just kill us. Go, Oswald, go. Okay, I think we might definitely get a minigame. Let's see how fast these spiders are. Yeah, that's not terrible. Just do one round. Okay, one round is fine. I'm fine with that. I can do that. I can do that. Also, those spiders are not nearly as fast as I thought they were going to be for nightmare mode. So I'm incredibly thankful. Here we go. I think I can go up here. Oh, paper pal. Snap. We also do need to get this family photo, but I'm gonna wait until I hear him go away. I don't hear him walking, but I also didn't hear a door open, to my knowledge. So let's get this family photo, because we need it. Hey, lady. Do you like rats? Here's a rat. <laughs> okay, that table's broken, so we can't hide there, so we have to go in this vent. Which isn't the greatest of places, because now we have to wait for Chica to go all the way over here, and then all the way away. But, whatever. Okay, let's rescue this kid. I think he went down here, so let's follow this kid out. There we go. <gasps> There's a token. No! Kid, let me get the token! You're the worst. 
I forgot about this. I hope that I'm able to get all the way to the ball pit. Because I'm not stopping. Thank goodness. That's night two. We're technically halfway there. Here we go. I am not following you. I'm going to find mom. She understands me. She knows me. I would not want to skip mom giving me a smooch. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. Goodbye now. School day three. School day three. So if we didn't get the part earlier, it doesn't matter too much because we just, we could get it here because the key's right next to it, but we got it earlier, so we don't have to. Very fast day. Look at the time during the day compared to the time during the nights. Night three. Perfect. That was so easy. The fastest day we've done so far. We've gone through the door. We've gone through the window. So now we have to start going through other exits. Okay, he's left. <gasps> hey, our power's out? What? Mom, did you forget to pay the electricity? Rope. Where's the ticket eater? I think it spawns in near Pirate's Cove. Because I have enough for a voucher. We have to have, like, everything done, basically, before day five. Because that's when things really... Really start to pick up. Okay, find a way into the arcade. So we need to get up here to this vent. So if he's up in this hallway, this is broken. That's nice. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This part right here. And this takes me up to Golden Freddy's place. Well, <laughs> that's not entirely what I was looking for. Hopefully he goes out this way. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Ooh, who's that? That might be Chica. So let's try and use this quick. Let's really try and use this quick, Oswald. Grab the key. Okay, let's loop all the way back around. Cause I, they're both out that direction. Here we go. Whoa, yep, there they are. That's not where I want you to go. I need to go that way. Okay, let's just try and activate a cutscene. Here we go, perfect. We're at Bonnie now. Ooh. So now we're at the point where we need to lure out Bonnie, so we need his guitar. Okay, let's get this. Need to get all the memories. Well, that's rough. Okay, let's just reset with the ball pit. Let's reset with the ball pit. At least we made it to the other side of the pizzeria. We need to get to the parts and service room, I think. I'm taking this as slow as I can. If we have to hide in a hiding spot for several minutes at a time, we're doing it. If we have to get out of the ball pit and go back in a couple times, we're doing it. We're so far into the run, I'm not risking anything. Intract. Oh, I think I need some strings. I think I need to go to the mill. Oh. No! My stalker! I wish as he walked past, I got a button to just bop. Right in the face. So now that we've picked up the ticket eater part, now is actually a really good time to use it because I already have enough tickets to buy the like handheld virtual console and that we can sell to the kid to get the firecracker for Freddy tomorrow night. I've already fixed everything. Hey kid, I've been noticing you tinkering, tinkering around with those old machines. I don't mind, but wait, did you fix all of them? Where do you learn how to do that? My dad, he's pretty good with the machines. He repaired all the equipment at the mill when he worked there. Sometimes he'd sneak me in during summer so I could watch. Wow, I don't really know what to say. I've been letting this place go for quite a while. Maybe it's time to fix things up around here. Thanks for your hard work, Oswald. Here, take this. Don't worry about the expiration date. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jeff. It's 75 cents off. Least I could do for you. What a deal. And I'm pretty sure that actually goes in our notebook. We got a 75 cent off coupon. Thank you, Jeff. So that's what you get for repairing everything. So you need to do the ticket eater. One, two, three, four, five. Prize counter, six, seven, eight um, arcade games. So like 10 things in total. Let us exchange those 20 tickets for a voucher. And let's get the first prize, which is going to be that handheld console. And we can trade that soon for the firecracker. I always get confused in this point because I want to run out this way. Hold on. A. A. S. Awesome. But it actually wants you to run out this way because there's a cutscene and everything. So let's do that. Oswald, please run. Please run, buddy. Bonnie's kind of speeding up. I remembered, though. No! There we go. Those quick times always confuse and scare me as well. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I hope that's Bonnie down there. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. Uh, vent, vent, vent. Yeah, that quick time event, there's a circle which I think is supposed to indicate how long you have to spam it for. I'm waiting for it to like flash the green lights, which means you've beaten the quick time event, but it only does that after the circle is completed. So it always scares me because I'm like, oh my God, I didn't actually do it in time. This part is really funny. <laughs> I was just constantly being bonked on the head. I sure hope Freddy Fazbear doesn't show up from Five Nights at Freddy's. Ooh, let's run, scooby dooby doo Chip, you close the door. We should definitely have time to get out of here. Yes, you do have to play the arcade machines. We're gonna do that uh, on this day, day four. Cause it's the final day. Once you get to day five, there's like no turning back. So day four, I like to do everything. Oh, by the way, chat, look at that high score. 
That's right. I kind of got all the hundreds off camera. I'm kind of the goat at skee ball. Not today though, because you don't even have to beat all the games to uh, make make it count. You got all the games done. I usually like to get a little bit of the games done just to make sure it counts that I've done them, but I don't think you actually have to play them. So what's weird about this game, chat, there is like a happiest day thing, but it doesn't seem like it's for anything, which is weird. It's not for a secret ending. And apparently in the files, there's like a old man consequences sprite that can appear here. We definitely got tickets on everything. So now we just got to farm more tickets to make sure we have enough vouchers to get the uh, the fetch game. Okay, I think four is all I need. But just to show you, I'm dedicated, healthy. I will not stop until I get 11. <laughs> I can't do 12. Whew, so that is all we need. And we got a few tickets left over. We'll buy, uh, we'll buy something good for Jeff. Voucher. So that's the third sticker. Now, if you use the voucher here in Jeff's realm, it doesn't actually give you uh, the fetch minigame. It has to be on night five, I believe, in the pit pit place. <laughs> so, let's save our voucher for that. I got a retro. Nice. So now we can go investigate that screen. Thankfully, they took their time. <laughs> here we go. So this is the uh, this is the other game we gotta do. Okay, so we got all the six balloons now. You can't see it. It's behind my face cam, but we do have all six balloons. Hey, Golden Freddy, I'm gonna go uh, see my boy fetch. Oh. <laughs> Because <laughs> I have the music. Why does that count as music? Because <laughs> I have the music volume turned all the way down. It doesn't play that sound effect, I guess. Oh, crap. I don't like this. Oh! Okay, it's just Chica. That's just... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I didn't mean to go in that door. I literally heard Chica way too late. But since I was running and holding shift, shift automatically makes you walk through the door. So I thought that was Bonnie and I was going to flip my lid. I don't hear anyone. Oh, ah! Cutscene, cutscene, thank god, thank god, thank god. That might have been Bonnie, that might have been Chica, I don't know. But either way, that's huge. What happened? The cameras. Let's make sure we get this memory. Alright, I wonder where he's gonna be. Oh no! So now, we need to find a way to cause a distraction. So the Freddy noise thing, which I normally which I normally use is broken right here. So we need to find something else. Okay, I don't hear him at all. If I just run around a lot, make a lot of noise. Okay, it's in the red. So that did distract him. Okay, here we go. Freddy, I don't care about Freddy. It'd be really funny if you took a long time and they were dead. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be funny. It would be, it would be bad, obviously, but it would be something. Perfect, let's run to the pit. Don't stop running, don't stop, go. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. Final day. Final day five. Okay. Just as a refresher, going into night five. We need to call mom to get the final secret minigame. We need to collect all dad's memories. We need to get the strange photo. And then I'm pretty sure that is everything. Also, water on. My heart is pounding. My heart be pounding. Go away. Chica's here. So if he walked the full length and Chica's there, I should have plenty of time. Hello, what's up with you? I need a key card. This should be open now. Yes. And he's all the way on the other side. I don't even think he can get back here. I don't think he can get back here because it's all blocked off. I'm gonna get this key card. I'm gonna call mom as well. Hello, Eleanor. You have come to the games. And God damn it, you are so powerful! I want to beat this so bad, man. You don't understand, chat. Okay. Yes, wear this necklace. Never take it off. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing the name tag, which I believe is in the bottom right corner of the Golden Freddy room. I should be able to free dad first. If I need the name tag first and it doesn't spawn, I will be pissed, because that is stupid. Right down here. Thank God. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, let me make sure I've done everything. All dad's items, five. One, two, three, four, five. Strange photo, complete all secret minigames. We did Eleanor, count the ways, fetch. Play all the arcade machines, fix all the arcade machines. We should have everything we need to get this ending. So let's just do everything normally. Let's do everything normally. Make sure we punch him. You're ready, Jack, you're ready. Oh. Right in the face. Drop the photo. Yes, yes, yes. 
save dad. Okay. We're still not done. Punch him again. Make sure. Get this awesome cutscene. Yes, yes. We got the candy dispenser. We did. That was the first thing we did in the game. Yes, 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 dad. Yes, yes. What the heck is that thing? What happened, Oswald? I hit the pit into the pit. I must admit, I'm pretty sure it slightly changes. If they hug, if they hug. Yes! I love you, dad. I love you, kiddo. 150. There it is. Everyone enjoying their pizza. There's no music because I, I turned it off. I probably should have enabled it for the ending. There is everyone. Big, happy family. Look at all those achievements. Yes. Yeah, baby. I really, really wish I turned on the music again because this is quite underwhelming without music. There she is, though. There's mother. Did this all for you. Did it all for you. Voices from the pit. Yes, there it is. We got it! See you! I'm almost positive whatever we're getting next from Mega Cat Studios is the fetch game. That see you, those two letters, exactly what shows up in the fetch minigame and into the pit. Also exactly what fetch says in the uh, the actual story fetch. I don't know why they would have that at the ending of like the hardest challenge if they weren't actually working on it. You know, Scott's talked about it. There's a bunch of teases in this game for a fetch game. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure next is fetch, which is really exciting.